doesn't matter with you, Okodele. Do you want to get the beating of your life? Beat me. Just because I told you to put it in. What nonsense truth have you told us, Okodele? Okodele, you are insulting us. And we want you. No, I want you to leave this compound now. Oh. This same compound, we are young men of our land, work as laborers. Roasting meat for a fellow young man like us from another town. Ah, I look at the three of you and I wonder, does this mean that our Osili is inferior to his? Hey, 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 Okudele, your provocation is getting too much. Leave this place now before we descend on you. Oh, descend on me? Okay, no problem. People do not have become a successful hunter in our own land, killing our own animals and the young men who was the meat for him. For me, can't say that, I may lose it one day. With this useless idiot that will never mind his business. Obukwe, I listen to him carefully. I think he has a point. There is something Chiku Dinibo is doing right that we are doing wrong. We need to ask ourselves, what is it? I'm going to Why have you refused to teach any young man of Osili your hunting skills? What are you saying? I am the one they call Okudi. I was trained never to look at faces. There is something you know about this forest that we the young men don't. And that is why each day you gun down our animals. Teach us that we may grow together. Teach us. of this land are thinking the same exact thing. But I'm not hiding anything from you. I believe I'm just favored by the gods. Greetings. <laughs> oh, oh, the most handsome man in our city. The only man that came all the way from our neighbor and outdid the men of Osele in their own land. Chai, I greet you. How are you? <laughs> oh, fine. <laughs> Seeing you know, should make any maiden happy. <laughs> You flatter me. No, not at all. I speak only for the truth. Every maiden in this community lost for the day you, Chukudinibo, who speaks sweetly to her. Or even call her young girl. <laughs> Very well, ladies. Carry on. You know? <laughs> ah, Ukuroma. Ukuro Tokuroma. With a lot of money too. What else should a medal ask for? Mm. Ah! Hello. I totally forgot that you are here with me. Look at him. Is he not handsome? Ah. What was that rubbish for? What rubbish? Zara, Zara, you're away from me now. 
So let us not get to open them. Sarah! I'm just buying this meat because you know I need meat. This is just bone. Okay, you may go in now, in now, in Give me my money. Hey, Papa, you think it's easy? Enter that bush and go and kill your own animal. Now. But can I not the only one who is in the mud? Yeah? You are poor, one right there. Hey, Papa, okay. You can't know. What do you think? This is your customer. Odukwe, about what you said earlier, eh? I don't blame you, because I've known that you are destined to be useless. <laughs> hey, mad car and useless mouth. What's the truth? Hey. How can you call a man, a full-grown man, useless? Hey, hello, man. Hey, Odukwe, if I were you, eh, I will deal with him. Seriously? Oh, no, no, you're now. Oh, no, no, you're crazy, sir. Madokan and his useless mouth. Why would I waste my energy on someone that has no control over his mouth? Tell me. What are you saying? Of the truth, if not that the God sent you to our land from his own land, a great hunter, and he employed the whole land. Useless. <laughs> I bless the gods for saving us from salvation through the hands of a young man from Urunebo. But really, you would have been chasing cricket about. Odubo requested for this. Prepare them for him before sunset. What is your problem? You don't eat him. He's too good in the world, not there for everybody to have him. Stop being unreasonable with this girl. I am so surprised that you know the meaning of that word, unreasonable. You said I'm supposed to be the one angry here. Then why are you acting back as if I was a nobody? And you think I will stand watching you with me like that? Come back. Think that I am going to be such a child. Grow up! What is wrong with you? I heard your voices from the backyard. Who tried to ask her? She always loses her senses whenever she comes across to Chukudimi. I'm just tired of your childish. It's a lot to put in What is wrong with you? Why kill yourselves over a man that has no time for you? No, Uche, that is not even the issue. Zarambia is simply jealous because she knows that Chukudimi likes me more. Oh, really? Sorry. Is jealous me. Sorry. I will always remind both of you that Chukudinibo will never settle for a lady who fights over him or flaunt herself cheaply at him. Keep wasting your time and energies. Meanwhile, when you do fight, meet me. I don't know why you are boiling. <laughs> Something is. <laughs> if not that, her father was the person that handed her over to me to marry five years ago. To have sent her back in Spain. Why? What did she do? I asked my wife to shut up. She did. Hey, but hey, don't shame my brother. That is not enough reason for you to consider sending your wife back in. What other reasons? There is always a way to follow women. I'm not going to make you work as you know. No, you won't. Don't tell me the meat is ready already. Chukudinibo never fails. <laughs> you can say that again. Because these my customers here, they are already demanding for the meat. This <laughs> <laughs> is the time I usually like. I'm going to say, you can, you can. Echazona! Echazona! Hey, please. Take this meat and go and prepare it. As you can see, these my customers here are already demanding for the meat. Okay. 
Tije kuye zibo se. Eh, please eh, tell eh, Chuku to the boy that he will hear from me first thing tomorrow morning. He asked that I collect balance. I just gave you a message, didn't I? Oh, okay. Elushie, if I may ask you, what exactly did your wife say that you asked her to shut up? They are stupid to strip that thing. I don't understand what you mean. Zaram and her friend fought over a man. What is wrong with it? Why could the maidens of Osili fight one another over a stranger? Why? I don't understand. Chukwu the name of may not be from Osili. But he's been here for a very long time, so you can't refer to him as a stranger. That is not enough reason to fight over him. <laughs> hey, hey. Every sensible maiden would like to have him as a husband. So don't make me think that you're senseless. How? In Ajum, how? Are you not supposed to be among those maidens fighting for him? Hmm? Or does your poor widow of a mother not deserve somebody that is that rich and responsible as a son-in-law? Eh? Then he should chase after the woman he wants and not the other way round. Eh? Mm. Mama, imagine Muzopota and Zaram, two very close friends, in constant fights because of him. Hey! Oh my god, you. Who change? They did so because they are sensible. And I hope you have a man that is better than you. Hmm? If not, you better pack your load now. I don't even know why I'm having this conversation with you. Now, call me for my to do this for me and not without a price of course or do I still owe you? I will change you. How do you say you are still owing me? I'm doing all I can. I'll get back to you. Just need to be patient. At least share your progress with me. What is he saying? Have you even told him about me? How can you say that? Of course I have. Just that Chukutunibo is a man of very few words. One hardly knows what he's up to. He tells no one about his personal affairs. Madoka, I came to you because I do not want to be amongst those maidens that flaunt themselves cheaply at him. I want to penetrate him in a more mature way. I don't know why you're finding it difficult. It seems you're finding this difficult. Uchechi, patience is a virtue. And those that have it are never led astray. Meaning? So relax. Eh? Soon you are going to smile. I am Madoka. I'm the game planner. Eh? I'm in charge. Relax. You know you are looking for trouble, don't you? It's me, Yokudeli. When did this one start? Why have you decided to be an obstacle to me? Hmm? Okudeli, why must you show your hapless face this early morning? What have I done wrong to you? What is it? Hapless face. Uzoma, what is the meaning of this? When did this enmity between us start? Huh? What have I done wrong? I can see that you're totally disillusioned. Better seek for help before your disillusionment drives you crazy. Nonsense. 
Okay, but at least tell me who you are giving that food to. Where are you taking it? Who's your mom? Something is not right. Something is definitely wrong. And I must find out. I must find out. Greetings. Please, is this Chupu Dinibo's compound? Uh, who else owns this large compound where every bodied man like us will sleep? She seems to be a stranger. Yes, almost stranger, I would say. Greetings. Greetings. Who are you looking for? Chupu Dinibo. By the gods, I am Chukudinibo. Mumbo sent me. He says I should give you the balance of the meat from yesterday. He also told me to tell you that he requires the same quantity at sunset. Pray for me that the gods will do it again. Bring out the animals from hiding so that I can shoot and kill. I promise. I will. Who is she? Oh, you sheep. I met her at uh, Mobo's bar yesterday. She's obviously Mobo's sister. Can we start discussing about sales girls? Odukwe, she's a sales girl, and you're a young man roasting the meat that another man has killed. And you sell them. What are you? Enough. Do you know it Enough. Sorry, boss. Yanga, who are you? Are you talking to me? This is the road that leads to Chukudinibo's house. What did you go there to do? <laughs> Can someone in this village just surprise me and be nice for once? What is wrong with everybody? <laughs> I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Greetings, Chikudinibo. Greetings. <laughs> come, come with me. I need to show you that. Whatever it is, I'm sure you can show me here. Okay. This is specially made for you. I know you like it. I made it the native way. <laughs> Do you want to taste it? Acts like this make me wonder if one 
is death or something. Or maybe it is just that one is determined to make the other one angry. What do you mean by that? I have told you times without number. Stop bringing me food, Uzama. Not when I don't see you getting an alternative. You cannot be starving when a maiden like me is here. I have said no. Very well then. Thank you very much. May the gods of my land bless you for your kindness. We say... <laughs> Come. Eat. This is really nice. I'm getting so close. Chikuti Nimu, you are for me and for me alone. Mm -hmm. What is she? See, I'm going to stop. If only she knew that this her delicious food ends up in the belly of the three wise men, she would have stopped bringing it. <laughs> yeah, the Amaduka. Going to tell her is not beyond what you can do. I know you very well. But listen to me. Hmm? You better keep your tongue short. Why are you a I didn't say I will tell her now. I will not. But you quick, will you tell her? It is high time someone took it upon himself to tell her that I will never eat the food that she brings. But when you see, I keep asking myself, why refuse to eat her food? Yes, when you see, tell us why you always reject her food. This food is very tasty. It's very tasty. I am a man of the gods. I never do anything on my own. I pray to continue that. Mm. What do you see? Hmm? Mmm. Well, you feel. Look at her. One would think she's coming from an important place. Wait. You mean Uzama? I'm sure she's coming from Chikudunubu's place. So this is true. Odukwe told me that she takes food to Chikudunubu every other day. Who told her he cannot fend for himself? Desperate fool. Wait a minute. What has come over our maidens? What has come over them? <laughs> Everyone wants to be with Chukudinibu. Is it because I've not asked you yet? Because I know you've joined them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. I've not joined anybody. Oh. So what were you doing taking water to me the other day? Don't forget my man works with him. I was... I was only being nice to him. You know he has no sister and... And who told you he cannot fend for it? So, you just said that about his own. See Chukubi. I will be here to see as the drama unfolds between Chukudinibu and Osili Medins. I'll be here. See, what has come over her? Huh? Why would she talk to you like that? That is not even my problem. I saw her take the food for Chukudinibu. I could not believe my eyes. Listen, listen, um, you have to calm down. That's just not a reason for you to worry. Maybe she didn't mean anything, but she meant something. No way she told me to my face. And I, open the lid, I'm happy. You <sighs> well, just calm down, alright? Don't tell me to calm down, don't tell me to calm down. I cannot lose my woman to a stranger from another land. I will not! Okudele. Okudele. Don't do something stupid though. What has come over these maidens? 
they are dumping their men for Chukudinibu. And if you're not saying you should marry all of them, as far as I'm concerned, you've not shown interest in any. Not even one. Strange. Is anything wrong with our maidens? If not that we know you very well, I would have said that you are doing the other one. I appreciate your concern, all of you. But the truth is that women are the least of my problems right now. Let me see. No man will be praised for saying that. We all need these maidens. You all know me as a successful hunter from Uru True. But you have no idea where I'm coming from. Before my father died, he said to me, he said, Son, in everything that you do, ensure that a woman, and never let a woman take away your senses. Be wise in matters concerning women. Yeah, I believe every father could have said that to their sons. My father said something like that to me. Your father should have. Yes, My father even told me more. Uh -huh. Mine was not just your regular cliche. My father suffered. He suffered in the hands of the woman he called his wife. My mother. Before he died. She was so mean to him that people around... People around wondered if they were enemies and not husband and wife. As a matter of fact, he died as a result of her ill treatment. Hey, I don't want I'm sorry, it's so sad to hear that. The most painful part is that I was there to witness it with him. I was there with my father. And day to day, day by day, I watched as my mother sustained the gradual and systematic destruction of the man that not only married her, but cared for her. Does it look like that I'm going? Where? I'm going out. Njideka, mm. the least you would have done was to tell your husband that you are going out. <laughs> husband? And where is the husband? Njideka. Njideka. I'm still searching to see the husband. Njideka, you are going from worse to worse. So I am no longer qualified to be called your husband in Jideka. You are not qualified to be called a husband. Let alone to be called in Jideka's husband. I am not under any obligation for you to know where I am going to and where I am coming back from. Have I made myself clear? Papa, why does mama treat you like this? This is not how my friend's mothers behave. Why is mama so different? You are still a little child. When you grow older, you will understand certain things better. Papa, I'm old enough to understand anything. I see things, I'm not blind. Mama does not treat you right and it is not good. Just look at her quicker, she has not eaten anything. 
I do not wish to label your mother a bad wife. But our people always say that marriage is like a sealed bundle. When you open it, whatever thing you see, you take it. My son, I never dreamt of having bad marriage. I never. I will never allow my wife to treat me like this. Never. Nobody prays for that. But as a father, I advise you to be very wise and at a lot when it comes to issues concerning women. Some come pretending to be what they are not. But when you, my son, decide to take anyone as your wife, I want you to make sure that you must have tasted her in every possible way. Understand? Yes, Papa. Papa, I'm very, very hungry and I need something to eat. I understand, my daughter. My daughter, I will make sure you have something to eat. Is that what this foolish man told you? Is yeah. that what he has been telling you? You are the foolish man here, not my father. Ah, don't lay your beauty hands on, on him again. Leave him alone. Mm. So, you finally turned my children against me. Am I seeing you? Nchide, did you know when you left this house and you are coming back now? Did you even bother yourself about what your children will eat? Did you? Why should a bad mother? What about the children? Then they have a good father. Why? Nchide, so you have eventually lost it. Hmm. So you are completely mad now, isn't it? You are asking me questions. You are asking me questions. By the time I finish with you today, the question, the answer will come by itself. You are them. Is it not my own that I've seen in that room? Eh? How many times have I warned you not to touch my taste? Give the food for the children. I'll give them have... Drop the food for the children. Which children? The children that were done for the mommy. I said drop it for the children. I'd rather die than for me to drop this food. I'll give us our food. Give us our I'll food, man. Food. Which food? Yeah. Who is your mother? Which mama? Next time if you want to cook, cook for them. You go to the market and buy your own ingredients. I'd rather die than to drop this food. Well, this is not fair. This is not fair, mama. This is not fair. So you threw the food? I made for my children away. Mama, this is not fair. This is not fair. Nice baby, come on, go. You want to tell your own children. I'm not making myself friend. <laughs> Stupid baby. <laughs> Then I asked myself, I said to myself, I said, why involve yourself with something that will end you someday? It just does not make any sense. So sorry, Ranishi. But every woman is not the same. 
There are still some good ones out there. Maybe. Just maybe. Someday. I will find that woman who is different. Who will make me love her. But till then. I have no business with her. Well, how do you find that woman? When you are not ready to give one a chance. When I see her, I will know. Hmm. I will. The spirit of my late father will lead me to her. You really suffered as a child. My father died as a result of my mother's treatment. Every time I see a woman, somehow, somewhere, I just see that same woman that brought me into this earth. I'm yet to find a wife. But when I do, I will surely know. Excuse me. You know the implication of his fear? All these maidens that are playing everything to get him will not succeed because he has no interest in any of them. And, you think and he may never will. Huh? Why? They are just wasting their time on a man that has no feeling for them. Uzoma, please, break it that noise. And what did you say, Justin? Hey! Why give me the look as if you see this as a beauty? <laughs> it's no longer news. I am the one that feeds Chiku the new now. <laughs> as as what? As this woman or what? As whatever you call it, my dear Sarah. <laughs> but Maduka told me that Chukutu will eat no woman's food. Hey, <laughs> wonders shall never. Eh? That was what he told me. Yay! <laughs> and since when did you become interested in matters that concern the great hunter of Uru Nebu? To the extent of discussing him with Madoka? She put him. <laughs> what is this one talking about? Madoka is my friend. And we get to talk about Chukudinibo whenever we talk about his work. Pico! I am not interested in your chukuti. Nekwa. Eh, hey, who's on? If you cook for chukuti, who then cooks for okuti? Okuti. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Pico. Who is okuti? <laughs> Listen. Chukuti cannot go a day without my food. And I know that soon, <laughs> very soon, he will do the needful. <laughs> Dreamer. Ah uh ah. -uh. Are you girls this dumb? Asked. I mean, ask me to marry him, of course. <laughs> That's the needful he will do soon. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 relax. Listen to me. Eh? I cannot wait for that day to come. You know, all the classless maidens that are hoping and waiting on Chukudi will 
pray for the girl to open and Yes. Oh. Let me ask you. What makes you think Chukudi will marry you? Because he eats your food. Eh? You're asking the stupid question that you had answered to already. Welcome me to his house. Makes me wonder. She has the nerves to do it. Well, I am not bothered. I just feel for the both of you. I'm glad you came up with this plan. What I heard at the stream today got me very worried. Hey! Forget about you, Zoma. I want to hear that. She could be. I've never tasted that food. She doesn't mean anything. I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? Just do what I'm doing. I'm just there for that. You are sure about this? Are you saying it? I'm very sure. I've been working for Chukudi Nibu for more than a year now. I know he's scheduled like the back of my arm. But this is dangerous. How did he even come up with such a plan? JT, I am mad at The game changer it doesn't work like this. I appreciate this. So relax. Eh? Just do what I've said. And if he gets closer to me, you know what that means? Get the balance once the plan works out. Ah, some better one. Just do as I told you, eh? You will smile at the end. You are sure about this? Yes, of course. Hey! Uh, come, let me take you there. Who could she have gone this morning? She did not tell me. yourself into this. I was just passing by you. I was just passing by. Passing by? This is a craft of human <laughs> This must be Chukudi Nibu's trap. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't go Chukudi Nibu. Tell him his trap has got a human being. No. <laughs> You want to stay here and wait for Chukudi Nibo? This is the craft of Yuri Nobu. And the longer he stays, the deeper the wood. Let me help you. No, 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 no. If you want to help me, go and fetch him. 
Does it mean I will not get any supplies today? No, oh, that is the reason I stopped over here first. I've already instructed my boys, they will supply you with that supply. But please, keep the money for me until I return. That, 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 that is not a problem at all. But I hope there's no problem. Well, whenever your king spends some money, you never know what he's going to do. But at least you will get to meet your people. It is indeed high time. Go in peace. And please extend my greetings to them. Yeah, come on. <laughs> the strong man of Uru Nebo. No bushmeat today. No, he's not going to supply us with that. That's what he did to tell me. This chuku didn't go the only one time this life. Something like that. You know, he is a hunter with touch of excellence. A man of the gods. Unlike many of the hunters in our land here that uh, they always spend the whole night in the bush and they don't see anything to bring back. The gods of this land will always lay animals out from ashes for him to come them down. That's why he's in <laughs> My daughter, you are lucky. Just a trap. Not a poison trap. Like the one others used to take. But ensure you do not move around with it. I shall return in another two days. Hmm? You see how it is. Okay, you can move us out of here now. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not going to do it. I shall be going. Hi, Mama, it's hot. Oh, hi. How did you even get yourself into this? I went to the bush to get forage for the goats. I went to the bush. That place where Chukudinibo catches wild animals. When did you start getting food for the goats? Is that they always been like work. Have I wanted to help? Have I done anything wrong? Mm -hmm. I wanted to help and make the goats happy by feeding them with grasses they've not eaten before. And this is what I get. Are you okay? <laughs> Sorry, huh? Sorry. <laughs> Mama, the woman is that the man that set the stupid trap has not come here to tender an apology. Hey, you are more than me. That young man owes you an apology. It's the truth. If you take this case to the elder, they will tell you the same thing. Hmm? You know the same is. <laughs> Why are you being defensive, Madoka? I'm not being defensive. What I said is the obvious. What happened to her could have happened to any other person. But it never happened to any other person. Hmm? Who goes to that part of the forest where we know how many times Chukudinibo has been attacked by wild animals? I don't care. Not to talk of a medium for that matter. Why? So what are you insinuating? What I'm insinuating is that we all know how desperate our maidens are to get to get to give us attention. Okay, guys, you know, Michari, Michari. You could say about our other maidens, but not to change it. It's different. Why are you laughing? What I said is the obvious. She's not like the other maidens that play their way to get to us. It's different. 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 Mm. Why are they laughing as if they know something? Missing the armor. I'm still waiting for you to tell me why you consider it to be done. <laughs> tell me. Okay, let's forget it. So, you know, so that is why I decided to come and see you myself, and I. And you did well, my son. Thank you, man. And you have shown that you are a wise man. 
Thank you, ma'am. Uzoma, you heard all that he said. Now tell me, what has he done to the painting? Papa, is that all you can say? What right does Opudili have to report me to you? He has no such right. He is a betrothed. He can come to me when things go wrong. Eh? I will say nothing while he's here. Opudili? No. I shall get back to you. No. Talk to her. Please talk some sense into her. You and Okudele are as good as married. Eh? You are supposed to be getting married to him. P Papa, what if I tell you I have someone else that is better? Don't be silly, young lady. Eh? He is a betrothed. Eh? What nonsense man that got into your head? Stay before I lose it with you. Chuku Dinibo. I'm seeing Chuku Dinibo. Eh? Chuku Dinibo. Yes, Papa. Point at me. I'm highly disappointed in you. Sorry, Judge. Sorry. For what exactly? For Chukudini for failing to come to me. Or for this painful wound on my leg. You went to the agency yesterday. It's not back yet. Was that our plan? Was that our plan? Didn't you tell me that he would go to the bush yesterday morning? That you have his schedule in the palm of your hand? So I thought. But Chuku Dinibu is a man of few words. He hardly tells anyone about his plans. He didn't tell us that he was going to Unibu. Yeah? Sorry. I do not even know what I was thinking listening to that stupid plan of yours. Hey! Oh, no, 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 see. No, 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 see. My plan is not that stupid. It's just unfortunate that you turned out this way. But oh, really, this will bring Chukudu to go closer to you. You know what that means. I guess it is bringing him already. You can just see my leg in Boronia now, Bairi. But really, this is the only bad thing about my wonderful plan. But this will help. When he gets to hear about this, he will come to say sorry. And then you use your female antics to finish the rest. You were sure about this. Did you walk? Hey, to walk. I'm very sorry that I came this late. I returned home late yesterday, so I couldn't come. Please, how exactly did this happen? I went to the bush to get forages for my goats. I didn't see your trap. I didn't know it was close by, so I, I stepped on it. <sighs> I'm very sorry. I apologize. In that case, I undertake to foot all the bills, please. Oh, Mba, don't worry, eh? I'm already taking care of that. Then I will do you a refund. Please, let me do this. I beg of you. That is the only way that I can show that I'm sorry for what happened. Please, for what happened. <laughs> um. Well, I, I, would, I would appreciate if you keep visiting until my wound heals. Please. Really?
Well, I guess that will not be a problem. Thank you so much. Please accept this little token. Thank you. Thank you. That was fun. By the gods, you will be healed soon. You see. I am sorry about this. I will try to visit you. Yes, mother. Why do I have this feeling that all this will plunder? That which the cock pursues even on that way is surely very important. Every other day. Well, to be honest, that's the least I can do. I don't want the people of Osili to have a reason to hate me. Of course, they won't. It is not your fault. And Chopo uh, Dibu, how is that big bush bit of a baby that can turn cock? How is he doing? Don't go down, Obo. It is not a joke. It is not a joke for real. She's lucky to be alive. It cut is very deep. I mean, she stepped on Ozzy. She could have cut up her leg. What was she doing? What was she doing in the front? That's a good round. Ah! Wow. Taking over your job at this place. She's my sister. Could you believe I nearly rejected her when she came and applied to work for me? But somehow I, I said, let me be my chance. And she has proven to be the best that happened to my business. Is she? I don't know why you're asking her, but I said, what's the problem? But anyway, she's. Um, She's from Aki. Aki! And that's the only thing I know about her. You won't believe it. I hope you enjoyed the meet. I swear by the gods of Allah, the best ever. Now I know. I don't accept it. You promised to talk to her for me. Huh? I tried all I could. But her mind is already made up. Made up. But she's my betrothed. And you know it now. I suggest. You go and look in the legend to marry. Also, my daughter has made it clear that she will not marry you. So it's because of Chukudu. Oh, is that the reason? You even know about him? Yes, I do. She has been seen several times taking food to him. Ah, oh, you already know. What else are you still fighting for? Eh? Can you compete with a man like Chukudu? I don't think so. My son, save your precious time and look for another man. My daughter Ozoma has been taken. No, this is not fair. This is not fair. It's not fair. My daughter a choice to ever have a my daughter made the right choice. Papa, 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 Papa,
Oh. I lazy too. <laughs> Did you see how you made it this way? <laughs> now that he had heard from me, I'm sure he will never disturb me again. If he does, mm -hmm. I will show him the other side of it. <laughs> I will prepare something special. You know what? They know that he's a nice man, so they want to take advantage of that. Why are you doing that? Hey, what baffles me is that they all act as if they would die if he fails to notice them. Hmm, notice. Notice is understatement. See, this, these ladies are desperate to have him marry them. You know, I spend all my day at his house, so I know everything that is going on there. Obi, if you ask me, I guess he's enjoying all the attentions. Yes. If not, you will find a way to tell them off. You know what I'm about to do? He's a gentleman. He tries to tell them off, but they won't get it. Hmm? But tell me, does he, does he not have anyone in his life? I mean, who is he really interested in? I mean, does he not have anyone in his life? Because I know he's a hardworking man and he should have someone in his life. Don't forget about that. As far as I know, Chibuti Nibu has no one. Hey. Yes. Hey. Yes. Well, you can vouch for him. Hey. 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 What do people do in the bush? I went to get some forages for my goats. In that part of the forest? Now what sort of question is that? Sorry. Um, Zaram, I do not like such questions, please. Sorry. <laughs> please, please, please. Look. <laughs> Greetings, beautiful ladies. Greetings, the best among all men. Please come and see it. Um, Zopata. Don't you think as the host I should be the one to offer him a seat? Oh, come on, Uchi. Remember that you are incapacitated at the moment. Huh? <laughs> Allow me to do this. Oh, give me my dear, please. Come and see it. Let me still let me get you a seat. Sorry. Thank you very much. How do you feel today? I feel better today. Thank God. Thank you, God. Here. I brought this for you. I have to be on my way now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey. Okay. 
Me too. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to the stream, man. Eh? Oh, okay. I want to go and fetch water. Don't worry, I'll come back, eh? Okay, merci. Thank you so much. Good enough by the gods. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you were there and you had everything. I have always known that you changed this very quick. With my dear, this one beats me. When I do that, I knew she was up to something. Exactly. I feel that the church is using this accident to get closer to Jubilee. He practically visits her every other day. Good church is just like a rat. By the time I make out time for her, she will run away from this office. No. Yes. What more could be more important still? That's your stupid attitude back then. What was that for you? Eh? Eh? Uh, greatest is the best among all men in your city. Ah. Yeah. Look at this one. Look at this one. What is your problem? No, I can't get you. What is your problem? What is wrong with what I told you? Ask him to see them. What is the problem? Must you say that he's the best among all men? My dear, you are simply jealous. Yes, you are jealous because I am older and smarter. And you put will notice that too. And so you are jealous. Me? Jealous? When I was the one that got him a seat. Oh, wait. What is who changed you? What could be happening between? and to put in your body on it. Why did I even leave? Should I go back? <laughs> yeah, Maka. So this is true. Mm -hmm. You're back already. Am I greeting? That's your useless greetings to yourself. Or do we? So this is what you have turned my daughter into. About who was it? Mama. Mama, what's the problem? Why, why, why are you talking to him like this? Or do we and I we, 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 we're just discussing and Shut nothing up. more. They take your Amaka. So you have decided to turn yourself into a maiden that stands under a tree, discussing useless things with useless men. Do you know how many people that told me that they saw my daughter under a tree, discussing with this useless son of no but Mama, shut up! Amaka, I don't want you to say a word. Before I close my eyes and open them, let me see that you are run to the house. Put my mind up. Get out! Get out! And you, or the way, or whatever you call yourself. I don't want to have this discussion with you again. Stay away from my daughter. I warn you for the last time. Mama, you just called me a son of nobody. I you know that is not fair. Look at. Who is talking of fairness? What, what you are doing to my daughter is it fair? And I'm not joking. But then, ma. 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 I'm sorry. Ma. I love your daughter so much. I love her. Okay. I promise you, I'll go and get that money and I'll come and pay her by price. Hey! Haru! To see a what? May the court for me. If it is a court, I reject it. You marry my only daughter. Or the way I am warning you for the last time. Or the way 
stay away from my daughter. If you see, and I get you close to my daughter again, you will be this you go You go. You're not happy, and I want to marry your daughter. I wanted to ignore you, but I've seen that I cannot. Let me tell you, the people that carve mortars in this village are just you. And they change a lot of money to carve one. I'm you. Don't destroy my choice mortar. Nobody's talking about Amaka and how she feels. This, this useless mortar has become the choice now. Adam Hobbs is there. I am your mother. Talk to me. Mom, what troubles you? Mama, don't act as if you don't know already. You know, the way you spoke to Odukwe today. It's very, very bad. It's very, very bad. You know Odukwe is a nice man. And he meant well for me. Why calling him names? <laughs> hey! So, this is all about Odukwe, eh? It's not as if I hate him on the way. I don't hate him. But I hate the fact that he is blocking you from getting a word is done. Mama, what is it you say? My daughter, it's not as if I hate on the way. But going closer to on the way will prevent what is sitters. Right sitters, my daughter. Coming to ask for your hand in marriage. So, I think we need to understand ourselves this night too. Because me, I don't know what you mean by worthy or the right suitor. As far as I'm concerned, Odukwe is as good as my husband. And very, very soon, he will be coming with his people to see you and Papa. Ask for my hand in marriage. Shut up. You're talking about nonsense. Mommy, I've said my own no. <laughs> Amaka, I never wanted to push this so hard. But I've seen that you want me to do that. There is something I will tell you in this night that you have to sleep over. Then first of all, let us finish cooking. Because very soon your father will come asking for his night food. I've said my own. <laughs> what do you know about that? Will you stop doing that? Something must be wrong somewhere. Odoguna Gogo told me that Chukutinbo only needs to eat my food five times. And then he will fall head over heels in love with me. Yes, that is what he told me. I have even lost count of the number of times that I have taken my food to him. Yet, nothing has changed. Is there something that I'm not doing well? <laughs> what is happening? Choko Dinibo, why are you not loving me yet? Chokube, why don't you understand? We can be over. Eh? Why are you treating me like this? What have I done to deserve this? Wait, Wamadi. What did I hear you say? That we can't be over. What nonsense link of salt and oil are you bringing to us? Please tell me, who are the we? We now, you and I. Wamadi, I'm lobby. And you, the bottle of oil. Hold it! Just hold it there. Come on, Mamadi. Have you been visiting Wombo's Valley? 
I don't even drink my wine. I only go there to eat bush meat. There's there. something worse is wrong with you here. Me? Why would you ever think there is us? Or there is ever going to be us? As in, you and, you and I. But I know What's I know. nothing! Wamadi, I am not your type. Please go look for all those small, small girls that have been shielded by a poor man's game with cheap feet or anklets. Shekube is meant for the mighty men that are blessed by the gods. Shekube, that is me! Why, Madam I am blessed by the gods. Now, let me make it clearer to you. I am seeing Shekube Nigo, the wealthy man. You know how powerful he is. And you must not be seen as acting the woman for your own good. Uh, wait, wait! What has that man done to our maidens that when he never have to be and he say he can eat it? Why? Not for you, I'll get you. I'm for the power of Cars are not here today. They've already closed for the day. You don't know how happy I am to be here with just you. Those men know how to make one feel uncomfortable. You have absolutely no reason to be uncomfortable when my men are around. I know. Just that I'm enjoying this private time with you. Greetings, Chico Jinibu. Which is enough. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Mobo sent me to collect the meat he ordered for. Oh yes, that's that's true. Let me get it. Be back. <laughs> He will hear. Thank you. You should be preparing to leave. I have somewhere to go to. What I am talking about. Or the way is a servant. Why settle for the servant where you can go for the master? You know the way does not deserve all this treatment. He doesn't deserve it. And you? You deserve to be married to that useless man that called himself for the way. Let me tell you. Odukwe is lazy. In fact, he is stupid. Who knows what would have become of him if not that Tupu Dinibo employed him? Uh, uh, yes. See, my dear. I come to myself as very lucky to have married your father. Not minding that, I was able to give him just one child. Just you. 
no male son, no other female child added to you. He still maintains her marriage. He refused to get married to another woman. Because of all this, your father needs to be made proud by the only child that he has been living for. You know I love you so much. And I will do anything to to make this a good one. Mm -hmm. My daughter, now do it. Make your father happy. Make us proud of you. is to make my father know that having a female child is not a cause. But how do I go about what my mother said? All is well. You mean all is well and you were practically lost when I came here? Chikube, I'm fine. Do you know I practically screamed your name before you noticed I'm here? What were you thinking? I wasn't thinking about anything. It's just that I was lost in thoughts. But trust me, Chikube, she do not want to know what I was thinking about. Let's forget about that. I'm fine, okay? I'm not fine now. What is it? It all started with that useless one, Madi. Fooling me about. Wait. Chekube. You not call one Madi useless? When it's, did this happen? It's even worse than that. Do you know all the bad luck I faced today at Chikudinobu's house was because of him? Wait a minute. You mean you now go to Chukudinebo's house? Again? Did I tell you I was ever going to stop going to his house? But you... Ah, wait. So you openly go to see Chukudinebo? That's not the issue, Amaka. Do you know I almost got him today? But that useless girl that works at that bar came in and interrupted us. Hmm. You did? I'm surprised you did. I never had any reason to look at that girl. But I hate her now. Where is she even from? See, listen. It would do you good if you brief me on what happened. Why do you hate the poor girl so much? Why? Don't worry. I will just go to my house and think of what to do. Please greet me for me. Hmm? I'm not happy the way you're staring at me. You're not just a native doctor. You're also a seer. And you came highly recommended. Why are you looking at me as if you don't know why I'm here? You're worried because the charm I gave to you did not work. <sighs> Thank the gods that you know. You praise your charms to high heavens. Why is it not working? Why? <laughs> Are you sure that you did exactly as I told you? I did everything exactly the way you instructed. 
small quantity of the portion in each meal that he eats. That's exactly what I've been doing. that look. Why does he eat my food and yet nothing is happening? <laughs> Dragging the cow to the river is not the same as making the cow to drink from the river. What does that mean? You took the food of which you dropped my powerful charm to him. How are you sure that he ate from the food? How are you sure? Find out. I do not want to be that You know from the deepest parts of your heart that I'm being like this. I've heard you say this before. If you have explained to me now, what do you mean by that? Nothing really, it's, it's just that I had to. Uh, 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 I won't! Do you know what? Please, I need to be left alone. Please, and now! to be left alone. Is that difficult for you to understand? Please! Stay alone! Stay alone! So then, all of you will not be there tomorrow? No. We are resuming there after tomorrow. 
he, he, he told us to go and rest. Really? Yes. Hmm. Chukudinibo is such a good man. I mean, who else would be this considerate? He asked us to take a day off. Not only to go and rest, but to spend time with our loved ones. So, tomorrow will be for you and I. Um, me? Yes. Um, see you then. I was just going to say it's a bad time. Yes, um, my mother said I'll be going to see my grandmom with her tomorrow. No, I have made plans to take it to Ubuchelebu. You know I've been promising you that. I know you have, Oben. I know. But like I said, it's a bad timing. See, let's reschedule this. You know how tough my mother can be. And if I don't go with her, she will skin me alive. Why? Why must it be now? Why must it be now? I, I was imagining how our tomorrow will be. Oben, you worry a lot. Hmm? You worry a lot. Okay, see. As soon as I come back, I'll come to your place first. And we'll spend all the time we need together. Promise. I promise. Cheer up. I'm not going there to live forever. I'm just going to visit. <laughs> Cheer up now. I'm almost spoiling it. Cheer up. You're the only reasonable man that works for Chukudi. So I have no one else to ask. I don't understand why you wish to know if Chukudi eats your food or not. It will cost you nothing if you tell me. He does not eat it, right? What does this witch want to hear? If I tell her that Chukudinibu does not eat her food, then she might stop bringing it. Tell her what she wants to hear and let the food keep going. Anna Quincy, what are you thinking? I don't know why you ask, but the truth is that Chukujinibo likes eating your food. In fact, he always looks forward to it. He looks forward to eating my food. That means he's beginning to love me. But how come he does not show it in his actions? Y'all must be a witch. Huh? Look, look at how she just smiled at me and walked off without saying anything. Hey, are we even safe eating her food? Huh? So far, so good. No one has died yet. So, let the eating continue. On what you do, young way. You do not know how happy I am. You're such a caring and nice man. I'm only giving to my word. I promise to continue to care for you and take care of you until your wound is completely healed. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anyway, I um, have to get going. My workers are off duty today, so I have a lot to do. I'm not strong enough, but I've come to help. I'll see you either tomorrow or the day after. Take care. We keep getting closer every day. Soon, all he will be doing is think about me. I am getting there gradually. The maidens will know that I am the wisest and smartest.
What's up, guys? Is everything okay? About what? Because of the eye and the man of whom, make, whom makes his living from the wild. Countless times I have come face to face with deadly beasts who were supposed to kill me, but I came out alive. Why? Because my hands are clean. So, on that note, I can tell you that you can do it. So, trust me. I'm not going to take this place. She's not who she comes. Who else will tell you the truth? I want my son that case. Do not be silly. Me, of course. See, Amaka, you're my good friend. But that does not give you the right to control my life. Listen, Chikube. Do not misunderstand me. I am not trying to control your life. That is what you're doing. I want him same way you want to do Kwe. Why are you keen on discouraging me? I am not discouraging you. I only want you to conduct yourself like a lady. You should not be chasing after Chukwe like that. I am not chasing after him. I only went to help him do his chores. Why? Because you love him, right? <laughs> you should grow up. Chikube, you should grow up. No man will love you for making yourself available and check. You should stop this now. I mean now. Thank you, ma. But sorry, I will not stop. I will continue doing what I have to do till I get him. Chukube! I don't normally do this, but I will eat your food only because you have prepared it before me. Hmm. Something tells me you've not been eating things. But I have a craft of women of the city. But I came to show you that I'm different from others. My grandmom taught me everything, and my mother continued from where she starts. There is absolutely no need for all this lecture. The aroma of your food is very inviting. I have already accepted that I will eat it. Okay. There is a pot buried at the back of the house. Get me water from there so that I may wash my hands. Okay. Thank you. Easy. Ah, Easy. 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 I greet you. How are you? Fine, sir. Uh, what are you doing here? I thought I told you to take the day off. Uh, you see, uh, um, my plans to spend time with my woman did not work out. Please, sit. Okay, sir. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. Easy, this food is delicious. Ah, yeah. it looks, it looks it. Don't worry, we'll eat now. Uh, mm -hmm. Get some water to wash. Amaka! Amaka, what are you doing here? Oh, Amaka came around to help me do some chores and also she, she made this, she made this food. She did. Let's, let's eat, wash your hands, let's eat. Amaka, please, water. Amaka. Amaka, is this your grandmother's place you told me you would be going to? Sorry, do you... Do you two know each other? Um, no. I, I, yes. Yes, yes. Disappointed. Disappointed. <laughs> Amaka, you know what the <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Wincy, please, hold on. You mean they had a meeting where they planned to kill you? How come I didn't hear about this? 
Where are you deaf when he said that the young man that, that, that just left came with that information? Why are you deaf? But, but why? Why, Onisi? You've never forced any maiden to visit you here. He doesn't even have interest in any of them. And to think that Odukwe, Odukwe and Kaiyukwa, who knows how all these useless maidens throw themselves about in this place, was part of that meeting is what I can't understand. 